Both of these players are going to be able to play for a major franchise. One, an original six team New York Rangers, and the other, the New Jersey Devils. On April 9th, a few ping pong balls were popped out and with those specific number combinations came the top three teams. Number three, the Chicago Blackhawks. Number two, the New York Rangers. And the Devils winning the lottery once again. Before we go into which player the Rangers should take, let's look at the top two prospects. Jack Hughes is 5'10", 170 pounds, born on May 14, 2001, and plays for the United States Developmental Program. He is currently projected to go number one. Capo Caco is 6'1", 180 pounds, born on February 13, 2001, and plays for TPS Turku. There has been debate on whether Hughes is NHL ready after his draft year. The main issue is his size. To put it in perspective, I'm 5'10", 170 pounds, same as him. But for better reference, Patrick Kane was drafted at 5'10", 170 pounds as well, and he put up 72 points in his rookie season, his first year after the draft. The game has started to take a turn into smaller, faster players over the last 5-7 to seven years, so you could make the argument that the game was much stronger and bigger back then. If Hughes gets selected like first overall, he will be the smallest since Patrick Kane. The smallest first overall pick since Kane? The game is much faster than it was 10 years ago. I think it's going to fit Jack Hughes. Capo Caco is being compared to Patrick Laine. Caco may even be the better playmaker. Looking at film of Caco, he is a generational talent along with Jack Hughes. So with that, the Devils should take first overall in 2019, Jack Hughes. If the Devils want him to play right away in the NHL, I think he can. He'll have a summer of NHL trading and hope to get bigger and stronger. So this leaves the Rangers with Capo Caco. And the reason the Rangers should take Capo Caco is simple. He's a big guy. One second. That's much better. Six skater. And has a howitzer of a shot. He has the vision, along with Jack Hughes, that you just don't see 18 year olds have. The Rangers and Devils are going to both get franchise altering pieces to this rivalry puzzle. Hey! Thanks for watching the video! If you enjoyed, remember to click the like button. If you want to watch another video, click right there. If you want to watch a playlist and start from the beginning, click right there. Remember to subscribe if you want more, and I'll see you guys later.